Hi, this is Dan Heisman, Philly Tutor for Chess FM, and this is the Improve Your Chess series for ICC members. In today's game, we're going to look at a 30-0 game played between a class player and his IM instructor. So let's get right to the game. All right, so in the game, White, who's the student, opened up B3, maybe trying to avoid some of the tremendous amount of knowledge that his uh, opponent might have, and Black played d5. Sometimes when people play b3, I like to set up the Botvinnik system with c5, d6, e5, knight c6, g6, bishop g7, knight e7. Um, but in this case, d5, perfectly good move. Uh, white, of course, plays bishop to b2. And black plays the provocative move, bishop g4, breaking two mild opening principles. One is knights before bishops, and the other is don't put your pieces out on squares where your opponent can just attack them with lesser pieces. Of course, here the lesser pieces that it could attack them with aren't really developing, so that's not too bad. I would certainly consider playing h3 here for white, just to see where the bishop wants to go. White played the unusual move, f3. You know, beginners aren't supposed to be doing f3s because next thing you know, uh, you know, bishop here, pawn here, you know, e6, pawn takes, uh, fool's mate or something. But white's a little too good for that, but he still plays f3 and bishop f5. And now he plays e3 and black plays e6 and white plays f4. And now we have a bird Larson variation, except that both sides are at tempo down. Uh, white has played f3 and then f4 and black's played bishop g4 and then bishop f5. So that cancels each other out and we've reached a position where nobody seems to have lost a tempo. Black takes further aim on the square e4. White develops his knight. Now, world champion Botvinnik had a suggestion for his students, which was when you're playing slow games, try to play your first 15 moves in no more than 20% of your time. And here we have a 30 minute game. In a 30 minute game, 20% of 30 is six. So you'd wanna be past move 15 with still about 24 minutes or more on your clock. This is also a zero increment game. So it's very, very important not to drive yourself low on time because in zero increment games, which of course are not the rule these days in important games, it's very, very easy for the clock to become more important than the board. And already we can see that white's playing a little too slow. And that's gonna be one of the themes for this game is that you know when you play these zero increment games, you have to keep your, your time under control because if you get too low, you're just gonna end up beating yourself. All right, so black plays h6. The idea is that if white ever wants to play knight h4, black can preserve the bishop with bishop h7. And white plays knight c3. And again, look at his time. Uh, he took a minute 16 just to make a developing move in a situation where black had no threats. And that's how you get yourself into trouble. Uh, everything's relative. If you take a minute and 16 in a 90 minute game, uh, that's perfectly reasonable. If you take a minute 16 in a 30 minute game in this kind of position, that's actually a little too long. So you always have to keep in mind what time control you're playing and how much time you have for non-critical and critical moves. All right, so black plays knight bd7 and white plays h3. And again, same theme, two minutes and 44 seconds. That's almost one tenth of his time he has for the entire game to play a non-developing move like h3 uh, in a position where black has no threats. So if you do that, what's going to happen is by the time you get into positions where there are threats, you're not going to have the right amount of time to think about critical positions. And maybe even worse, later in the game, you may get into unnecessary time control and just beat yourself. Black plays solidly bishop e7, and white plays g4. That time, at least he played it faster, consistent with his last move. Bishop h7, white fianchettos, bishop g2. c6, black's just playing solidly. White plays d3, sort of an understandable move. It weakens c3, but it...